Tank Davis! And the fight has been stopped. It is over. Davis is a champion at 130. The kid's a tank. I'm Javante Davis. I'm 24 years old from Baltimore, Maryland. I hold the WBA world title. As a child growing up, that's a little rough. Coming from the group home and, you know, uh, watch my mom and dad do drugs and things like that. I really didn't have the love that I wanted, you know, so the gym really, you know, passed that up for me, you know. As I kept going to the gym, I was getting the love that I needed, so I fell in love with boxing. So right after school, I used to not even go home. I used to run straight to the gym. Growing up in Baltimore, I had a lot of older fighters that came before me and was teaching me along the way. And um, they was in the streets. They was in the streets a lot. Man, I'm so proud of you, Tank. When I think of where you came from, where you at, now you can come back and get some knuckleheads on the right path. It was hard enough to get you on the right path, man. <laughs> man love you, man. Love proud you too, man. Yeah. All the guys that I came up with, you know, that was older than me, they got killed in, into the streets. Baltimore is so small. It's right there. You can either go right or go left. Them getting killed made me stay focused on the gym and not try to do what they did. It was one of my mom's friends that killed right there. And this was my house right here. What's going on? Ain't nothing. I actually fought him too before. Yeah. I was a fighter at heart. In school, after school, here. After that, they took me to the gym. Not for boxing, I'll probably be. Probably in jail or dead. My name is Calvin Leon Ford, the trainer of Upton Boxing Center. I've been living here since day one. Actually, my son, the one started tanking out the boxing. Used to always talk about him at the dinner table, man. My son used to talk about him so much. He said, man, if he was my age, he probably could beat me. They're going right behind each other. So all this like making them push here, yeah? but they got a minute on each one of them here. Yeah? Then they got a minute down. Then they go back up, then rest, take care of their strength from the back end here. Yeah? I noticed every day, Tank was always at the gym with me, always at the gym with me, always at the gym. And I used to beat me at the gym. And that's where our relationship came together. Coach Calvin basically raised me. Calvin was training one fighter named Ramon Manley. He got caught up in the streets and got locked up. I was right behind Ramon. And Calvin, you know, started working with me. We built a bond, a real tight bond. And, you know, I've been over some years. You know, we was on the same mission. Our policy on Tank getting in trouble in school, um, I had a three, three rules. Go tell somebody, go tell somebody, go tell somebody. Don't tell nobody, you going in that ring and had to fight everybody. He looked forward to it. The way how I had to punish him was keep him out the ring. And he used to hate that because he couldn't get in the ring every day. Can we spar, can we spar, can we spar, can we spar? No, no, no. <laughs> you know, and it paid off. You know, I was always in the gym. You know, I was always winning. I was traveling at 10 years old. I was on planes and going to different cities. They got to see the world. They got to go places. So when they come back, they had stories to talk about. Most kids ain't never been out of Baltimore. Tank understood when we went away from those tournaments, it just wasn't a trip. It was business. You know, we had to come out on top. Me and Kenny gonna make y'all work in the ring. That's where the real fight at. I'm trying to get you tired as I can. I tell people all the time, I remember when he didn't know anything. He came in the door with confidence. Yeah, he wasn't afraid. He came in the gym ready to box any and everybody with no experience. But we developed him, and he just became this monster inside the ring. And when you look back at it, man, it's a blessing. I actually fought in the Golden Gloves. I actually won it. And I came back home, and I wanted to turn pro right then and there. I was 126 at the time, and I wanted to move up to 130. And my coach was like, no, them guys too big and things like that. So I still I still felt that in my heart that I can be able to fight at 130. And I actually turned pro at 130. Adrian Brown to walk me out my first fight. It was so big and we were sitting in the dressing room. He said, man, thank you. I said, it's your birthday party. It's your coming out party. It's time for Baltimore to see that champion go to work. What we saw of Javante Davis was quite impressive. We both learned. We knew on the scene. Oh! 
just boxing. It's a sport, but it's hard to get in. Lightning quick! You got a billion boxers out there, but only a few names is mentioned. You know, and so happy, we got that success quick. One of the great notions in boxing is the romance of seeing a future champion at a tender young age. The 21-year-old Gervonta Davis gets his toughest test right now. He was a tough opponent. He was throwing some strong shots. And I just saw having to catch him with the uppercut, and then I caught him again. And then I'm just saying, like, he didn't move his head or nothing. So I'm like, it's time to take him out. And now Davis thinks he's got him done, and Michelle Myers has seen enough. It is over. Gervonta Davis bounces up and down on the ropes and scores his sixth straight knockout. He can sting you as quick as a tank can shoot. That young prospect will be heard from at the championship level. He's only 21 years old. Go. Jay. Good. One six. Uh-uh, step at your feet, come on. Right now, what we're doing is just getting his speed back. Jay. His time is back, his IQ back. His IQ is unreal. Like I always tell people, his tank is like 40 years old in the ring because he's been doing it for so long. Good. The, the, the real focus is, is keeping the focus because we at home. Two, five, three. In this camp, we're working on power. We want to show people that he can box. So with his power and his boxing skills, a lot of people are going to see a new tank. You're on the wall. You get the gloves. You're on the pads with me. Doing all types of stuff because we know this guy wants this belt. Y'all got three rounds. We try to plan for it. If you want to get crazy, Okay, let's get crazy. It was really a strengthening day today, you get what I'm saying? But at the same time, I needed them to be working on boxing stuff today. Strengthening and conditioning get, can get hard. All the workouts get hard, you know, once you're losing that weight and you're trying to maintain it. But it's a part of training. You know, you've been doing it for so many years, it's, it's like second nature. Good money, Tank. I like the way y'all work today. In and out. And we right back at it tomorrow. Is he gonna weigh in? Yeah, that's what he's doing there. All, all them back there, seeing what they cut. Break past that number, I'm happy. Okay. All right, I can go for that. <laughs> I'm good. Yes, Russ! We still going down, Russ. <laughs> this is probably one of my best camps. Back home training with my brothers, um, Brown family and friends, people that I grew up with, so, and it's back home. He overcame the odds, and we, 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 we love him. We love him for doing it. We let him know if you stick with any, anything you stick with in life, you, you won't be successful. It means a lot when you take a kid from scratch because you're watching them grow up. You're getting to see their strong points, their weak points. You're getting to know them as a person. And they start to come into their self. His maturity has grown a lot. He's serious about his business. I've been with these guys since I was you know, seven years old. You know, so Calvin, Kenny, Russ, you know, um, they always push me to my best ability, you know, so I can be, you know, put on a great performance. You know, they, they treat you like, like you one of their sons. Some days I probably come in and I feel mad like walking in and then my, my mood change when I get in here, you know, because I'm around, you know, people that I actually love and that love me. He like to be watched. When Tank got somebody watching him, boy, he puts on a show. Y'all ain't seen the best of him yet. Y'all haven't seen the best of him yet.